Catherine Barger, LA County Supervisor. That's the position that Mike Antonovich Correct. occupied for? Mike Antonovich occupied this position for 36 years and I was elected uh, now about three years ago to um, take the seat once he was termed out. In Los Angeles, how, much, how is the power distributed between the, the mayor and the city council? Well, Los Angeles County, there are five supervisors, and we represent all 88 cities, of which L.A. City, uh, albeit the largest, is one of the 88 cities, and the supervisors represent... Um, L.A. Board of Supervisors is um, legislative, executive, and quasi-judicial, but we oversee all 88 cities, and we um, operate the health and welfare system in L.A. County, as well as child protection, and in the unincorporated areas, basic municipal services. Uh, does the police department report to the mayor? The police department reports to the mayor, LA County Sheriff's Department reports to the sheriff, who's an elected as well, okay. but all the funding that the sheriff receives comes through the LA County Board of Supervisors. Okay. Much Thank to his dismay. <laughs> I'm kidding. kidding. So here it is, it's, it's a hot kidding. Sunday in the North Valley, Chatsworth. You came out and made an appearance here and, and, and made a, a statement. What's the significance of this uh, North Valley with Granada Hills, a Jewish community center shooting in the context of terrorism in Los Angeles? Well, for me, it's an opportunity to, to first of all, hear from um, the victims and from their families and, and, and hear the horrific stories um, as though it was yesterday, um, talking to the Lido family. Um, there's no question that while it's been 20 years for them, every day they remember their brother Joseph. Um, but it's also for me about letting the community know that government alone cannot fix this. We are looking to um, churches, synagogues, to, to really come together and, and be a force, a voice. Um, hate is not going to be tolerated. We can talk about gun violence, but gun violence alone, I mean gun control alone is not going to solve this problem. We've got to look at this across the board and it begins at home and it begins with educating our youth about um, the fact that hate is, is, is evil and unfortunately it's become something that through, I think through social media, um, is, is, is gaining momentum and it's, it's frightening. It's frightening what's mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. um, is there any plan or policy for uh, tracking or monitoring what goes on in chat rooms among anti-Semites from the far right, uh, far left, uh, Islamists? Yeah, well, the, the, the short answer is yes, and we heard from the LAPD representative today that, the, that they are monitoring as well, but, but that's not enough. I mean, it's to monitor is one thing, but we have to be vigilant, and when we see something, I always say act on the side of caution and do not assume. Um, so if you see something, I mean, law enforcement's monitoring, obviously, and law, there are laws in place to protect individuals, so there's a fine line, but we have to become more aggressive in addressing that root cause of what is going on with these chat rooms, and I believe that the chat rooms are empowering individuals because you can be anonymous, you can, you can make hateful comments, and it, they feed off of each other, and what began, began as one comment becomes more and more hatred, and then it becomes taking that to the next step and doing something horrible.